Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to share you know some tips if you are preparing for a coding interview. So let me first tell you like a little bit of a background. A lot of folks you know have reached out to me and also let me know in the comment section below if you can relate to this. So they're like Kunal when we are we are practicing data such as algorithms and lead code and all these other things preparing for our interviews but uh, the problem that we are facing is that when we are given a question let's say the interviewer gives you a question on an online or an off-site interview or you are doing your online coding rounds for example you're given a question in that so the problem that you know many students are facing they tell me is we are able to think the logic but we are not able to code it so in hindi they say ki we know how to solve the question hame logic pata chal jata hai but usko code kaise karna hai usme dikkat aati hai so translation they are able to understand what's the logic behind the solution but when they are asked to code the solution they can't do it some test case fail or something fails or whatever right so and when i asked what is their preparation strategy how do they prepare for their interviews i found a very common mistake that students make when preparing for their coding interviews for big tech companies like fang type companies or other companies that ask lead code type questions and the mistake that folks are making is that they are referring to a particular like dsa problem sheet that has been circulating everywhere right and i will tell you in this video why that is a bad bad approach to go and why people fail using that approach so if you don't know about it some folks have a like in online there have a there, there are like a few dsa sheets like 300 200 400 questions and if you do these questions you are basically preparing for your interview or whatever that may be that is the wrong approach that is not how you solve data such as algorithms question be that when you are preparing for your interview or or whatever right um that's not how you do it in this video i will also share how to prepare for your coding interviews um so make sure you you know like share subscribe and if you have any suggestions um from your own coding interviews let me know in the comment section below so reason number 1 why this is a waste of time is because you are limiting yourself to just those like 300 400 questions and um it's it's when we talk about coding interviews when we talk about preparing and learning about data structures and algorithms most folks they just you know start solving questions as it is that is not the approach that i recommend the approach that i recommend is something like this let me share with you so reason uh, the point number 1 is lead code is more than enough for you to prepare for your uh, coding interviews the approach that i recommend is let's say you are I, i do not recommend solving questions like randomly or even in the dsa sheet like categorized questions i do not recommend that what i do recommend is let's say you are starting with arrays you are learning about arrays or you are learning about recursion or whatever what i want you to do is learn about it watch your videos or whatever you want to do go to problem statements okay filter it accordingly so you can filter it according to the tags you can select let's say arrays or recursion or whatever let's say we do recursion here we go so here we have recursion step number 1 so let's say you're learning about recursion you will filter it according to recursion that's step number 1 then you will sort it according to the difficulty okay difficulty easy medium hard or whatever now it's now it's sorted so here you can see there are around a lot of questions okay there are so many questions related to it what i want you to do next is let's say you start solving from the very first easy one the questions that have a lot of thumbs up solve those the questions that have a lot of thumbs down as compared to thumbs up ignore those those are just time wasting questions so questions that have a lot of thumbs up solve those that is step number 1 overall the step number 2 is i want you to make a journal for every topic so while you are solving questions related to questions related to uh, recursion you will find patterns in these problems you'll be like okay let's say you're solving dynamic programming questions you will find patterns in dynamic programming you will find something like uh, zero one knapsack okay and uh, you will find if you're doing like graph for example you will find patterns like um, 
DFS, BFS, um, topological sort, uh, uh, shortest path algorithms or whatever. So you have to make a note of that. Instead of randomly solving questions, like even from a sheet, sheet or randomly solving questions on lead code, don't randomly solve. Do it topic wise and make a note of what sort of problem is being solved with which sort of an approach. This is the reason I got 100,000 subscribers in less than three months. Because that is the approach that I teach in my uh, data structure algorithms bootcamp. Okay, so that is basically how you solve problems. Another reason, so you are limiting yourself. First of all, it's not like you just solve these 300, 400 questions, you'll be okay. That is the approach that I do not recommend. The approach that I recommend for solving any coding interview is the one that I just mentioned to you. Point number two. I have also seen folks make this mistake that whenever the interview is coming close, they refer to these DSA sheets and they start solving problems from these DSA sheets a week or two before their interview. I do not recommend this approach. The approach that I recommend is always be interview ready. Always be interview ready. This way you will not be stressed that, oh, I have my interview next week. I should do all the important questions that, uh, that are in this uh, DSA sheet. No, always be interview ready. Always do some good questions like one hour, two hours spend on lead code in the morning. That way, whenever you have your interview, you will be ready. Okay. The ability to not care is very important. What do you mean by not care? Not care means when you realize that your interview is next week, you should not panic. You should be chill, calm. You should be like nothing is, uh, nothing has changed. You are just doing your regular practice like you were doing previously. Always be interview ready. It's very, very important because that way you will have the confidence to solve any problem that is given to you. Most of the time I've seen students when they're given a slightly different problem from the 400 that are in the sheet or whatever, they are not able to adapt. So that is the approach. One, one more reason why I do not recommend it. The last point is aim high. So don't just be like, okay, this is the sheet for Amazon India. Or these are the questions asked in Microsoft India. These are the uh, questions asked in Google or whatever. Don't limit yourself to such companies. Aim higher. Be like, okay, I, I do not care which company this question was asked in. It's a good question. I will do it. I will learn all the approaches. I've actually made two videos around this. The one video I made is uh, how to use lead code effectively. Um, and one, another video I did was with my Google recruiter. So I aced all my Google coding rounds and I did a podcast with my uh, Google recruiter where we shared some of the great tips if you're trying to apply to fang type companies or whatever. So you can watch these two videos. I'll link those in the description below or you can find it in the my experiences playlist on my channel. That's basically about it. Um, aim high don't just aim for like just you know one single company if you aim high definitely interview rounds for the such companies will uh, you know be a piece of cake and these are pretty easy it's pretty like uh, if i talk about uh, uh, companies like uh, microsoft and amazon india at least the interview questions if you check online they are pretty pretty easy what, what do you mean by easy um, so the thing is a person who has studied even hard questions are easy for them but a person who has not studied, even easy questions are hard for them. So easy is a relative term, but for someone who just knows like, you know, who has done lead code and done the courses, like the bootcamp that I have provided or whatever, and done sufficient amount of practice for them, uh, coding rounds of these companies are pretty easy. You can check out the previous year questions. They ask basically lead code medium or something like that. So it's pretty, pretty straightforward and it's all textbook. That is the reason these companies are like pretty straightforward to get into when it comes to coding rounds so I'm, I'm speaking about like uh, India in specific and uh, more information you can find online uh, you can google like Amazon India previous year questions or whatever there are some lists you can refer to but I would not go down that route I would recommend doing looking at the bigger picture and learning data algorithms like for fun and, and stuff so that's basically about it and the approach I've, uh, I've shared with you it's uh, quite good so Make sure you follow that and good luck with your interviews. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you like, share and subscribe and yeah, see ya. Bye.